This is amazing. What if you have an interface like this and able to create charts like these for Autogen? You are able to create sine waves. You are able to create tables. You are able to generate images using DALI 3. You are able to add your own functions in one interface. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Autogen Assistant. This is a user interface maintained by Autogen team. This is one interface where you can add multiple agents and customize based on your needs. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to set this up on your computer, how to generate images using DALI 3, how to generate visualization graphs, how to add your custom functions and much more. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe, click the like button and stay tuned. The first step to create your Autogen Assistant is conda create hyphen and Autogen UI Python equals 3.11 and click enter. Next conda activate Autogen UI and click enter. Next export your OpenAI API key like this and click enter. Then pip install Autogen RA and click enter. This is the required package you need to start the application. And finally, type autogen ra space ui hyphen hyphen port 8081 and click enter. This will do all the magic behind the scenes. And you have the URL here. Now we are going to navigate to that URL. I've entered the URL now and you'll be presented with a user interface like this. In the left hand side, you have agents. That's where you can configure your agents. Click on the settings button. Currently, there are two workflows by default. One is general agent workflow. The next one is visualization agent workflow. The major difference between these two lies on the settings we have here and mainly in the system message. That is the instruction you give to the large language model on how to behave for each request. So in this screen, basically you have two sections. One is sender on the left hand side and receiver on the right hand side. Sender is the user proxy and the receiver is the main agent. You can change human input mode and auto reply mode as per your needs. So the general agent workflow is for general tasks and visualization agent workflow is for anything if you want to visualize. These two come by default. Now coming back to the main screen, there are sessions. You can even create your own session. By having sessions, you are able to remember the previous conversation and reply based on the context of your conversation. So for each task, you can create new session to make sure that the response is more in line with the context. Next is skills. These are custom functions. We have three functions by default. Find papers from ARXIV, fetch profile, generate images. We're going to try every single thing. First, let's start by typing list out five rivers in Africa and their length and return that as a markdown table. Do not try to write any code, just write the table. This is the prompt and you got the response here with the rank, river and the length. This is a general agent workflow because we don't need to create any visualization. Next, we are going to try visualization agent workflow. In this, we are going to ask plot a chart NVDA and Tesla stock price year to date. Save the result to a file NVDA Tesla.png. In our terminal, we can see these agents are working together to complete the task which we've just provided. Now we got the chart here between the stock price of NVDA and Tesla. We can even see that in the interface. Just click that and you should be able to see that graph. Not only that, you will see how the graph was generated. Next, I asked, write a Python script to plot a sine wave and save it to disk as PNG file. We got a response now. So here is the sine wave and we got the code here. We can even see the conversation between the agents. Four messages were exchanged. Next, we are going to use the global skills. First, I'm going to try fetch profile. I'm going to ask, tell me about Mervyn Prison and the URL and then click enter. This goes to my website and understands about me and then prints the response. This you can see from the function written here. Fetch user profile. It goes and read the website using beautiful soup and then finally return the response. Based on the information retrieved from the contact page of Mervyn Prison, we can summarize the following. Mervyn Prison is an individual involved in various technical fields, including AI. Additionally, the page lists recent posts with topics such as Task Weaver, OpenAI applications, Node.js, GPT 3.5 fine tuning, 
and chess agent. These posts indicate a focus on cutting edge technology and AI research. So the skills are similar to function calling. We are going to now generate image using Dolly 3. This is also a custom function. I'm going to type generate a cute cat on moss and click enter. Now we got this picture generated. It's really beautiful. And finally, I'm going to type find research papers related to Autogen and click enter. Now we got a response with a list of papers about Autogen. Not only that, this is generated using the general skills find papers ARXIV using this function. Next, the final thing, we are going to create a new skill that is new function. So on the left hand side, if you see under skills, you have new skill button, click that. I'm going to add this function. This function takes a file name and convert uh, ASCII art to a PNG image. You can even add your own functions. After adding that, click the OK button. Now you can see the new skill got added under user skills. Now I'm going to type give me cat ASCII image to PNG and click enter. In the back end, we can see it's calling the function which we just created. Now we got the ASCII cat image here. This is really powerful. Even if you don't know how to code, still you should be able to use this advanced agents. I'm really excited about this. I'm also going to create videos in regards to how we can connect a open source large language model or a language model which we can run locally integrated with this Autogen assistant. I'm going to create more videos in regards to adding more functions, adding more agents and customizing this interface. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.